Welcome to Etsy Print On Demand Shop Reviews. This is episode number 69. Nice. We're going to be looking at print on demand clothing. Specifically, it looks like this shop has a lot of bathing suits. And we're going to see just how successful they have been so far with their effort of launching a swimwear print on demand shop. So why don't we get right to it? All right. The shop is called Chicken Feet Store from Orlando, Florida. Let's take a look. By the way, that yellow is so bright. I've got one of these, like, I don't know, like high end, higher end, like gaming monitors, and the color is just like beaming off of it right now. <laughs> I feel like it, I can't tell if it's hurting my eyes or if I'm just used to squinting because it almost feels like sunlight, like staring into the sun with this yellow color. All right, I'll stop complaining. Let's see what your welcome message says. Welcome to the awesome shop. Wide range of products you'll love, starting with shirts, hoodies, hats, accessories. Products are all made to order. Might take 10 to 15 days. Oof depending on your location. I would say domestically, they're probably going to take three to five days on average. You know, when you say 10 to 15, I would always skew this towards the short end, not the long end. If you skew that towards the long end, you might scare buyers away. Oh yeah, and you only have two sales so far. Why don't we check out what's sold? Okay, so you sold actually a gym bag, wow. And a uh, swimsuit, okay. Um, anyways, let's go and check out what you've got here for sale. That yellow, man, I mean, I will say, I bet you the yellow pops in search results because I don't know how many other people are using like really bright yellow. Um, I also like how you've got these mocked up. I haven't tried to sell that much print on demand swimwear. So I really don't know if that's like a default mockup that maybe Printful or Printify offers. But I, if it's not and you're doing that yourself, I do like how you have the like flip side, the reverse side also included in the thumbnail, but almost like a little bit translucent. So it's not detracting from the guy in the foreground. Honestly, one thing I might do is separate them a little bit. Uh, no, I think cause you like it square. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say just something to make the person in the foreground a little bit more distinct. Like in this one, it almost like bleeds together, but in this one, it's not too bad. Um, in this one, it's not bad either. All right. Yeah. I'm just getting nitpicky here. No, I think you did a good job with the thumbnails. Although we can't see too much of the swimsuit. Remember, they are buying the swimsuit and the design on the swimsuit. And I always, I don't know what the exact percentage should be, but when you are only showing your actual product and or the product design in like less than 30% of the thumbnail area, uh, I don't think that's optimal. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these swimsuits here, like these three that I'm showing right here, uh, they, they are not occupying very much of that primary thumbnail. And it's just a little bit counterintuitive, right? Because people aren't going to see your shop like I'm looking at your shop right now. Like if they come to your shop page, it's, it's obvious you're selling swimwear and we can click to see more about what your design is. If you're in search results next to 50 other people selling swimwear, it's less obvious and they're going to probably scroll right past you. I mean, they might stop for a second and be like, damn, that's a bright color yellow. But you know what I mean? I don't think you're doing yourself any favors by not highlighting the design more. And you know, this mock-up right here does a much better job in my opinion of showing the design. By the way, like is everything on here chicken themed? Is that what I'm getting here? Like, did you make a whole <laughs> shop dedicated to like chicken themed graphics? Um, you got like the wave, the, is that like a wave runner, like rash guard, I guess, like, you know, the shirts that people wear long sleeve to protect from the sun. You've got like a sundress and did you manage to put like little silhouette chickens in there? Is that what that is? It's kind of like a weird looking chicken and it's like the letter C, but interesting. Um, <laughs> baseball shirts. It looks like you just kind of threw a bunch of stuff up here to see what sticks. Now I will mention that you've got really high prices. Like your prices are really high. You're not running a sale and you're offering free shipping, I would just honestly charge for shipping and lower your list price. Cause when your list, your list prices are this high, sorry for interrupting. I wanted to let you know that linked in the description, you can find my free print on demand mini course that is completely new for 2023. If you sign up, it'll help you get your first sale. And down there, you'll find a link to my print on demand Facebook group. I hope you'll join the community. And again, picture you in search results next to all your competition. I really think that's going to be a deterrent from people clicking you and they'll just click your comp. Like, even if you were both charging the same amount, the fact that like they're going to charge shipping at the end and you're just saying, Hey, free shipping, but you're going to have to pay 28 50 for this t-shirt, right? 28 50, $28.50 for a t-shirt. That's tough. Um, and also that is a really kind of blurry rendering of this shirt. So 
I would fix that. You know, that doesn't look good to have a blurry uh, rendering um, when they zoom in. The, the yellow. I do like, I mean, hey, it's a consistent presentation, but again, most people are going to see you in search results. They're not going to see that all your other products are yellow. So you don't have to be committed long-term to this yellow background if you end up ultimately like maybe pivoting. Damn, you went above and beyond with you, the products you offer. So you've got the uh, the Converse style. Oh, I can browse, but I'm unable to purchase. Interesting. I mean, these do actually look like pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Um, you've got the canvas shoes here with all these different chicken themed graphics. So insane. You've got like the green Hulk chicken here, the flaming chicken, the lifeguard chicken, the pirate chicken. I, I need to know more. Where, like, where did these graphics originate? Did you make these? Is Are you just, <laughs> is this like a hobby or is this an obsession? I need to know more. <laughs> the socks, the tank tops, the, the, what is this? Wax candles suitcase. Okay. So you've got a $269 for episode 69 of course uh <laughs> luggage with a chicken on it but i mean i love the graphics though like this literally looks like um there's a a restaurant we like uh over here in virginia called hangry joe's that sells like nashville hot chicken even though it's more like of a korean style fried chicken which is weird um but it's delicious you know what i mean and it, this reminds me of their branding so and we're, you know what i'm not even lying no joke we're actually going to eat there tonight this was not pre-planned. We are eating there tonight after I finish recording this video. So um, just interesting here. You're a great artist. If you are making these, you might make more money like maybe doing gig work on Fiverr if you have the, you know, skill set to make these drawings. Um, I just don't think your approach, like you're, you're just kind of skipping, like let's just be short and sweet here. You're skipping a lot of the best practices that successful Etsy sellers do. I would mention, like, I would recommend just going incognito, right? Go incognito. You don't have to go incognito, but when you do this, then you can go to Etsy.com and just type in, like, whatever it is that you want to sell. In this case, like, chicken swimsuit, which I don't know if anybody actually searches, but let's just assume they do. And look at how you, I mean, actually, it does look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, how you stack up against your competition. Maybe, honestly, just just look into like women's swims. I don't know just look into more generic high level higher value keywords and evaluate how they are mocking up their products and then compare yours to theirs and take a hint basically is what I'm saying um because typically like the higher the, the more generic the keywords the more money's being generated the more competitive the harder the sellers are going to try to make that first image like killer because we know on etsy that's the biggest way to stand out and then obviously you're going to see like the price range should you offer free shipping should you not should you run a sale should you not all those things and um again i like to i like to go into an incognito window to do that just to make sure that you know results aren't skewed based on anything previous search history anything like that anyways it's been my pleasure to <laughs> review your chicken themed print on demand shop chickenfeet.store i guess we have to do it chickenfeet.store is it a real website is it going to take us back to your Etsy shop? Well, while that goes, guys, just a quick reminder, I do have a full print-on-demand course that walks you through how I went from uh, not knowing what print-on-demand was to seven-figure sales, six-figure annual profits. That's linked in the description if you want to check that out and copy my approach. Um, I can help you increase your sales to more than just two sales. Even if you want to start a chicken-themed store, I, I guarantee you I can get you more than two sales, all right? Um, not, not being a hater, though. I do respect the effort here, and, and I mean, obviously, you can make some changes and easily double triple quadruple take your sales much further so check that out the course is linked in the description please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already on your way out guys and i will see you tomorrow with a new top five niches of the week video